Hello, my name is Craig of BCF Technology. I'm proud to uh, show you the Kodak Classic machine, the CR system, and we'll go through a step-by-step -step guide and show you how to use it. To now turn your Kodak processor on, there's a button on the side, and you press the button on the computer bottom. Your computers will now start to boot up, and the system will ready be, be ready for use in literally five minutes. As you turn the machine on, this is now your login page. There's no password, it's just a uh, tech login. Press the tech login, and uh, these are the buttons you're going to be working with today. So now we're at the main screen. We want to create a new patient. Simply press the new patient button. Now that we're at the patient input screen, we would like you to populate the yellow boxes. These are mandatory, helping you to make sure that you've got all the right information uh, onto the patient exam. We go then to procedure name. Procedure name then allows you to select the body part that you wish to x-ray. And follow the instructions on the screen. Now, boxes will appear whether you can take a lateral, for instance, or DV or VD view of this particular chest. Now that we've inputted our patient details and got our procedure in terms of the body part that we wish to x-ray, we now select the appropriate body part and, uh, and view, whether it be a DV or lateral. And from this stage, you would then be able to put a cassette into the machine and get an x-ray out. What we could do is we could add a view by simply pressing the add view button and selecting another lateral button for instance in order to take a second view if the first one wasn't sufficient. Now that I've selected a cassette that I wish to expose, I look at the barcode and select the appropriate view. In this case it will be a lateral view and I would then barcode the cassette under the appropriate body part and we're now ready to expose the cassette. Now we're in a situation where we want to take a, an x-ray. This is the BCF 140 generator. What I'm going to do now is put the uh, cassette in. The black side is tube side, so tube side up. Into the bucky tray. Close the bucky tray. And you're ready now to put your animal on the table and expose as you would normally. To put the cassette inside the processor, you have the yellow to your nose and the barcode to the bottom. Place that into the machine and slide forward. You'll hear two beeps. One to read the barcode and one to say the cassette is fully home. Now that my image has come up, I can remove the cassette. Manipulate the image. I can add my left and right marker. I can then choose to rotate the image as I will to get obviously the right rotation. I can add free text. I can simply remove it by pressing the remove button. I can then go to the contrast, grayscale and contrast, and manipulate how it is that the image looks to adjust the image to make it more diagnostic should you need to. If we wish to now zoom in on the image to make it more diagnostic, I can then select the appropriate zoom function, expand it, and adjust the image as I will around the screen. To adjust the image back to its original form, you can always press the reset button if you go too far, and it takes you back to its original image. To do simple measurements on this machine is very, very easy. If I go to the measurement tool, select a line. In this case, we're doing a vertical heart score and we can measure a distance. Now to complete the cycle, I want to press the save and accept button to push the system to a pack system or simply to save the image. I press the save and accept button and it is now saved and goes back to the main menu. Now what I'm looking to do is uh, create 
uh, another exam, albeit the same patient, just a different body part. I'll select New Study, click on Procedure Name, and select the appropriate new body part, being the skull in this case. Select the skull, and then select the appropriate view that you, you wish to perform. Searching for a, an existing client or patient, if I click on study data, I now have a search criteria in which to use. I can use an owner's name, an animal's name, and also a given time window. Select one of these criteria, populate the box, and press find locally. Pax's uh, picture archive communication system. This is where you'd store your images. This is the acquisition side, and you would need safe storage of your images away from this machine, possibly online, and that's the, the options that you have. You have online storage, we have um, hardware options for you. There's a whole range, so depending on your requirements, we do have a PAC system that would meet your needs. Thank you for your time, and I trust that this uh, little overview has given you a great insight into a wonderful product and how it is that it can achieve wonderful images for you. BCF have a range of CR systems, and uh, please feel free to visit our website, www.bcftechnology.com. Thank you.